most of the women that I talk to make an average of somewhere between fifty and eighty thousand dollars and up in their corporate careers or day jobs. And when they start their business, you know, the eventual goal, it doesn't happen immediately, but the goal is to at some point replace what you get from your day job or from your corporate career with your business, right? Because you start your business because you have this idea to help people or you have this skill or unique gift that only you have um, and you're very passionate about using that to serve others. Um, here's the thing, as we all know though, uh, passion itself does not pay the bills. It does not give you options, it doesn't give you freedom, and it doesn't give you the flexibility to really create the life you want, right? So how can you buy, you started your business, but how can you get on the just fastest path, in my opinion, to really replace your day jobs, uh, revenue with revenue from your business and and that's really what this video is about so for those of you who are new to this community hello hello how are you my name is Angel Santos and I help women hi Ray thank you I appreciate it trying something new <laughs> you're much better at that than I am but I'm trying something new so I really appreciate that um, for those of you who are new to this community my name is Angel and I basically I help Help women package their expertise right so all of us know something um, and most of us especially the women that I meet we're really good at like one thing hello Bernetta how are you and most of us have been um, who haven't started our businesses yet or at the very beginning you probably have one thing you've been helping members at your church or friends and family for years um, and so I help women take that and turn it into a business so you can help people and make money, right? Um, and the best way to start off is to package what you know into a course, right? And a course is just a program that you create that you can deliver online that doesn't always need you, right? It can have elements of you just like I'm with you now. So you can, you know, talk with your clients face to face or include phone calls. But the beauty of creating an online course or a digital course it is that it doesn't have to have any elements of you. It doesn't have to require you to be present, which means it can be 3 a.m. and 10 people or a thousand people can be taking your course. They can be watching pre-recorded videos. They can be um, going through workbooks that you've created, right? So there are different elements that can be in a course, but that basically kind of sums up uh, what I do and the benefits of having the course. What I wanna show you today and can those of you in the comments let me know, have you ever, do you have your own course or have you thought about creating your course? So either let me know I have a course or um, thinking about having a course. Because what I'm going to show you is basically today, I'm just going to show the numbers. I like to start with the numbers because I feel like most of the people I meet we already want to help people like I already know you have good intentions. I don't need to give you like a, a speech about <laughs> being in integrity or it, uh, just not being about us. OK, great. Thank you, Bernetta. It's good to know. Um, I don't need to give you a speech about why we sell or how selling is good. Um, you already have that. What I want to show you is one of the the fun part is right about a business is uh, the money and the money is fun because of the freedom and flexibility that the money allows okay so let's say you create your course your first course and you sell it for $97 $97 is considered in the business world a low end or low tier price right so whether you feel like this is low well it is and if you feel like this is high this is basically like one of the lowest for an actual online course I have most people sell them um, at the very base it's 97 the next pricing tier you see is usually 297 from there you have 497 and these are all considered lower tier pricing when you get to your 997 and 1997 these are considered 
mid-tier pricing and when you go above that you always you you almost always see like way more personal time like you're involved but when you stay in this realm of uh 97 to even well to 497 these do not need to include you hi katina how are you and so these are important because when you're working a full-time job you know yes you can say oh i want to make a thousand dollar course or a 1997 uh, course but the thing is when you're when you work a full-time job you're not trying to add more to your plate you know what I mean you want to spend time with your husband if you're married you want to spend time with your children if you have them you want to spend time with your family your friends your community like traveling you don't want to spend oh thank you for the hearts I appreciate it you don't want to spend more time trying to uh, now that you sold the courses, now you're trying to deliver it and give them pieces of you. Like, let's bring in this hundred, three hundred, and five hundred dollars and let them learn on their own <laughs> so we can be enjoying lives and everybody is happy. Uh, good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. And so I'm going to be kind of talking about the lower tier today. Uh, I'll cover these maybe at another time. This is like more signature system type things. And so for the sake of the example, and I won't be on very long, I just kind of, I'll be coming live all month talking about creating your course and different things about it. Um, but I wanna show you, so let's just say, just for the sake of someone who's never created anything, you create a course and you sell it for $97, right? So you take a month or two, at the most, your course is made. And you do your, you get ready for your first launch, you're all excited, and let's just say you give yourself, uh, let's just say a month right you give yourself an entire month and all month all you focus on is selling your course you're telling friends you're telling family you're doing your first facebook ad like you are just telling the world right that's your only job that whole month is when you're not at work or with your friends and family you're telling people about your um your course and in your first month you sell 10 and you are super excited because the beautiful thing is is that this is just money you get to keep, right? Whatever expenses you pay to create the course, that's done. And once they get the course, they do it on their own. So now you're just like smiling with your cash, okay? Hi, Sherry, how are you? Sorry, it's, I think you said sorry, how are you? Okay, so now you've made your first thousand um, and you're excited, but now you feel like, okay, I really uh, want to do more. Let's say you're working with someone, right? Let's say now I really want to do more of a strategy, a strategized launch. Um, and so you, you, know, you put together a full, you have your email, maybe you do a challenge or something like that. You have your email sequence going. Um, and then you also have, let's just say three people who bought your course, finished it, loved it, and now they've, they've sent you testimonials. So now for the next time you sell your course, you have um, testimonials of people saying, yeah, I bought her course and it helped me so much do this, or it helped me so much do this, or it was you know great information. So you have your testimonials, you have some momentum, um, and you have a, a, a better strategy that you feel comfortable using now. You wanted to make it easy on yourself when you started. So your second launch, if uh, we want to call it that, you sell 30 of them, right? So that's, <laughs> this is a lot of math. I haven't had breakfast yet. So now that's uh, $3,000. Okay, it's been a couple of months now. You know what you're doing. You feel like, oh yeah, I've improved my course. I've added some pieces. I've added some workbooks and, you know, just different things like that. And so now you're ready to raise the price, okay, to $2.97. And let's just say this is month one, uh, so we don't overwhelm you. This is month, uh, let's just say this is month three. And uh, let's just say this is month five. And these are no hard and fast rules. Um, this can be less or more, just kind of showing you uh, the numbers. So now you're selling it for 300. Um, and you, uh, you're going to reach more people as well. And so you're going to sell 50. Do not laugh at me. 
Okay, I don't want to do numbers. Okay, three times five. <laughs> three times five is 15. So that's, that has to be 15,000, right? 300 times 50, yeah. So that's, that has to be right. People, it's too early for me to do math. Okay, so uh, you sold 50 of your courses. Now they're $300. That's 15000 So this is your first five months, and you have made 15 plus 3 is 8, and that is what, right at $19,000. $19,000, okay? So here's where things get really, really good. Now, uh, let's say now you've really seen what works and what hasn't, like whatever problem you saw, whatever it is that you really help people do, and now you've created it into your signature system, okay? So this may include a little bit more of you, but not enough to take away from your life, and I'm going to show you how. So now you're going to charge $9.97 because now you do lives twice a week in your Facebook group where all of these buyers go so they can ask you questions. It's still going to be easy because you're only going to go live twice a month, the same time, one hour. So you're giving up two hours of your month in exchange for an extra $700. I don't think that's too bad, right? You know what I mean? Okay, so, and let's say you did this in month five. Now you're going to create um, a really, let's just say month eight. Let's give yourself a break. You've made 20,000. You still work full time. Um, this is 20,000 you get to keep the most of, by the way. Now you've taken a couple of months. You've lengthened the course. You've upgraded all your branding and your visuals. You're really excited. Um, you're doing Facebook ads constantly, right? You've made a really big runway, right? So you have people, you have people anticipating the next launch of your new and improved course, like um, like a new iPhone. Like you have put in the work to build some serious anticipation about your product. You took some time, months, okay? And then you're selling it for $9.97. You spend a lot, just gonna be keep it, you know, transparent with you, you spent way more on Facebook ads this time, okay? So you've done everything you can to build this momentum, and let's say you just do a challenge just for the sake of time, because challenges are really popular, and um, you get, you know, a, let's say you just do a free challenge, something like that, you get maybe 500 people in the challenge, and of that 500, 100 people decide to sign up for your course. Now, I am not saying, I am not saying that when you create a course, this is how it will go. I'm showing you what can happen. I'm, this is to show you what is possible. This is not to overwhelm you. If you sell, you know, 10 of your course every month for years or, you know, 10 a year. Okay. But these are goals, people. These, I'm just saying these are goals. Okay. So you sell your course for a hundred, a thousand dollars and you sell a hundred of them in month eight. And that, my dear, my favorite part of this is a hundred K. So in eight months, you've made $119,000. So you have replaced your salary, your whole year salary, by having one course, by working very little. And this is why I say very little. You're, the most work you'll do is in the course and then using the time it takes to market the course, right? But if you're strategic, that doesn't have to exceed five, maybe five hours a week if you're strategic. And each step of the way, you're taking some of this money to reinvest in your marketing. You're taking some of this money to put into your Facebook ads and retargeting and all of that good stuff. And let's just say by the end of the year, you've spent 30,000, so big numbers, but again, these are big goals, right? This is how you would replace your actual, your whole salary, right, with one course. Let's say you've spent 30,000 in coaching, graphic design, um, Facebook ads, and your marketing campaigns. That still leaves you 
with about $90,000 that you have made. Uh, now, excluding taxes, that's $90,000 that you can just go shopping with if you wanted to, that you can donate to the charity that you have been working to start for the last six years. That's $90,000 um, that can change the, actually, that's, that's what, 90, <laughs> that's ninety thousand dollars that can change your life because now you see you don't have to work a forty or eighty hour week um, or tie be tied to a desk just to make a living for you and your family. So that, my friends, that is how you replace your salary with a course you create. I just wanted to show you the numbers. I'll talk. Um, each day I'll kind of be sharing different things about courses, like how can you structure it? What's the best way to market it? Um, when should you launch it? What industries benefit from having a course, which I'm just going to say most of them do, especially if you offer a service, right? Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments. It can be about this, or if you just have a question about creating a course, creating a digital uh a, a online program, anything like that, please put them in the comments and I will be happy to answer them in one of my videos. Thank you all for watching and have a great day. Bye. Thank you. I appreciate it.